a son of a, no, we have a son and father. <laughs> Coming to this spotlight first is the father. How about a warm welcome, please? Greg Moody. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Tony. Well, hey, so I was looking in, in the news, and last month was Mother's Day. So I saw an article on USA Today, and it said 25 amazing gifts that women actually want. And it made me realize that I have a serious problem. Because every time I read one of these ideas, all I can imagine is that every time I give a girl one of these gifts, I would think she'd be mad at me. For example, like it said, for the coffee lover, give her a coffee machine. I think she'd say, oh, so you don't like my coffee? Or like Lululemon yoga pants. Are you crazy? I'd look fat in those. Or for the health nut, USA Today suggested the skinny cookbook. Now, I don't think I'm the only guy who thinks it's really stupid to buy a woman a cookbook that says, you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well buy yourself your, you know, cut off your own testicles and cook them yourself in, in the cookbook. Now, here's the only way these things will work. Get her a state-of-the-art coffee maker, diamond ring on top. <laughs> Yoga pants, put a diamond ring on top. In fact, buy something that you want, like a 75-inch TV and diamond ring on top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and give the skinny cookbook to her sister. <laughs> <laughs> now, now it's June, though, and dads are supposed to get the gifts, and there was an article like it. 20 things that dads really want. And here's the problem with asking men what they want for gifts. If we told you what we really want, you would leave us. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we say, I don't know, maybe give me a new spatula for the barbecue grill. <laughs> so we can't go. I'd like to be 20 years old back in college chasing girls. Or what I really want is to watch a movie for once without somebody saying, what just happened? What just happened? <laughs> or how about you just give me peace and quiet for 36 hours? <laughs> <laughs> Instead, we say, give me tools for the grill. Now, it's not only hard to get women or, or it's hard to get men to say what they wanted. They couldn't even get them to write what they wanted. So a woman had to write the article, which is why every item on the women's perfect gift list was way over $100, and every item on the men's list was under $100. So the article should have been titled, Gifts That Women Want Men to Want. <laughs> 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 Instead of being things that men actually want, it was lipstick. Like dads love lipstick. Well, maybe some do, but we're not judging that here. <laughs> dads also love it when you give them a gift certificate that they can give to their wives for a spa day. And half the <laughs> list was fitness or cooking equipment, which proves that men think we're all fat, and they want us to do the cooking. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. <laughs> so I'm getting older now, and my only guide for getting older is my dad and his World War II Navy friends. So I'm not there yet, but I remember seeing them all at like 80. And they'd all get together, they're lifetime friends, and they talked. The problem was that they were all deaf, and they couldn't hear one another. <laughs> Yeah, so they were talking about completely different things. Like, that damn Jimmy Carter, he really screwed up the SALT Treaty. Yeah, that's what I was saying. And they also need a new quarterback. <laughs> Where's my pants? <laughs> I drove my car south the other day. When did people start driving on the right side of the road? Yeah, and I can't get my pill bottles open either. I like cheese. <laughs> or, yeah, I think my caretaker is molesting me. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Bermuda grass is the way to go. <laughs> Where are my pants? That's what they were like. And then he had his 80th birthday party. And this was the point that I realized that people 80 or above 
introduce themselves by their ailments. Like, hi, I'm Fred. I just had open heart surgery. And this is my wife, Betty, and she just had a mastectomy. <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. They really do this. I'm Sally, and I had type 2 diabetes. And this is Bob, and he just had a mole cut out of his anus. <laughs> like, these are real life examples. I mean, my name is Joe, and I have Alzheimer's. My name is Joe, and I have Alzheimer's. Look, there's a duck. <laughs> so that's how they make conversation. So I kind of felt left out. So I said, well, you know, I'm Greg, and I'm a little bit nearsighted. Then all of a sudden, they got all macho on me. Oh, yeah? Troy having five kidney stones. Hey, Phil, this kid thinks he's got problems. Show him where they removed your testicle. No, no, I'm good. You think you go to bed, Sonny? Troy eating sugar-free Jello and cottage cheese all day because you got no teeth, or waking up every thirty minutes to pee, or forgetting to wake up every thirty minutes to pee. Screw you, Junior. <laughs> so I know I'm only fifty. I'm fifty-four now, but I can't wait for assisted living. When my dad was there. There's 20 women for every guy. And those women are vultures. Now he'd be complaining about wanting these ladies wanting to have their way with him. And of course, that's way more than I wanted to hear about. I was with him when one of these women was bothering him. And finally he got mad and say, hey, I can't do anything. I had my prostate out 15 years ago. And she looked him right in the eye and said, well, your tongue still works, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. That's my time. I'm Greg Moody. Greg Moody, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. And uh, at least for telling jokes, Greg's tongue still works. We cannot vouch for <laughs> any other situations. Uh, uh, we know something else worked on Greg at one point in his life. We do because uh, he has a son. And uh, by the way, uh, Greg and Alder did a great job last Sunday night on our Father's Day show, and they're back here tonight, both of them. And now let's hear from the son of Greg Moody, but he is his own man, Alden Moody, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! Woo! Yeah. All right. Hello. We are in a Zoom show <laughs> because of the whole coronavirus thing going around. Man, because of this whole coronavirus thing, I, I somehow still graduated. I graduated from Corona del Sol. Yes. My high school was named after a beer and a virus. I'll be ready for ASU. Or Wuhan, China. Yeah, I think that uh, today, in today's day and age, human beings complicate everything. We have complicated text messaging, right? There's so many apps for text messaging. Messenger, WhatsApp. You can even text people over an app called Plumber Crack. <laughs> Don't use that one unless you want your pipes cleaned. <laughs> You text someone and they go, do you have the who's it, what's it app? No, I don't. I have the who's it, what's it app. And the what's it, who's it app. Uh, oh, then we can't talk. And another guy says, have you been on the whatchamadigger, whatchamacallit app? No, I don't have that. I'm on the thingamajig app. <laughs> hey, why didn't you message me over the housey doozy app? <laughs> I don't have that one. Sorry, I am just trying to tell you that your car is on fire. <laughs> it's hard enough for me to learn the 26 letters of the alphabet. And now I got to learn 3,304. Wait, wait. <laughs> eight. 3,308 emojis. Half of which are flags for countries I've never heard of. 
like Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> See, I am ready for ASU. I told you, I'm ready for ASU. <laughs> <laughs> There's 67 versions of sad face and 135 combinations of emojis that mean I want to break up. The average person only uses 15. Except for me. I only use two. Angry and hungry. <laughs> angry, hungry. Angry, hungry. Angry, hungry. Except sometimes I use horny, but don't tell my mom that. <laughs> oh, my mother is here. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like I will not be living in the dorm next year. You busted. She's great, I promise. All right. Speaking of my mom, my mom is slowly turning into a grandma. <laughs> Not because I'm making her a grandma, but in the way that she talks and acts. She used to work out every day, and now she crochets. Her favorite TV station is the Hallmark Channel. <laughs> and on my birthday, all she gives me is a $5 card and a check, and a, and a sorry, $5 check and a Hallmark card. Dude, seriously? A <laughs> dollar check. Uh, the weird thing is, she's only 32. Oh. And it's not really my mom. It's just this older lady I'm seeing who says, who's your mommy? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you. Oh. I believe it or not, I'm an official ordained minister of the Universal Life Church. Got my identification, if you can see it. Where, where are we going? Here? There we go. Here it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Woo. Took a lot of hard work and dedication. A full three minutes and 36 seconds online. <laughs> and now, since I'm 18, I can even marry you to your guy, girl, or transgender person of your choice. <laughs> now, if we were in Arkansas, it can be only to someone of the opposite sex and they have and they have to be at least a first cousin <laughs> thank goodness i am not a part of the world's most overzealous religion soccer <laughs> or football as they call it in argentina where you get shanked for wearing the wrong colored pants mm. that's awful Everyone knows you should only get shanked for U of A colors. <laughs> well, it is my time. Good job. 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 Well, that was the first time in history we watched a man be heckled by his own mother on Zoom <laughs> doing a comedy show. We, ladies and gentlemen, 45. we are making history here on a Friday night. In Zoom land. Hey, we're going to.